Hello Scorpios and happy birthday to you. It is the Sun Sage and thank you so much for tuning in. This is your November reading where we are going to see what energies are going to be coming in for you. Um, what's happening, what's surrounding you in the month of November, your birthday season. So again, happy birthday to you guys. Um, this will be for Scorpio placements and um, uh, cross watchers. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So Scorpios, let's go ahead and get into it. I just want to get some main energy for you guys and then we'll see what the tarot has to say. So what can Scorpios look forward to in the month of November? Thank you so much. What can Scorpios? Ooh, fun. Because of course, lots of party vibes with that um, celebration energy. What can Scorpios look forward to in November? Okay, caution. All right. And... <clears throat> daydream okay so all i really pick up we'll see what the cards say but what i really pick up from um this caution is being careful of overdoing something um celebrating taking chances taking risks you may feel just really you know yolo in december i mean i'm sorry in november and so what it looks like is that um you guys will be having a lot of fun and some of that fun can turn excessive some of it can turn a little dangerous even um, and so it's just being mindful. Uh, we'll see what comes through. Um, I also feel like caution of seeing someone with rose colored glasses daydream is here. All right. Um, I feel like maybe you've recently forgiven someone and that person is going to be around a lot in November. So, you know, I feel like just keep in mind this person is somebody that, you know, you have a questionable past with or somebody that has given you some issues. So be careful of giving away too much information about yourself um, to this person. Also, just be mindful of um, who you have around you as you are having fun. Be careful of people, you know, taking pictures of you with cameras out. Thank Things like that are coming to mind, um, but let's see what's going on. Okay, so what do we have for uh, Scorpios? If I called you guys Cancer, sorry, you could be dealing with a Cancer though. Um, what do we have for Scorpios? November Six of Swords. All right, what's coming in for you guys? The Hangman. All right, what's going on for you guys? Your birthday month. I mean, your birthday season. Knight of Swords. You may get into an argument with a Pisces, um, judgment in the reverse or another Scorpio. Somebody here is a twin and you're going to get into an argument with your twin over something. They see something differently than you in the month of November. And you also have the nine of swords. Okay. So the page of cups, I feel like you're sending out invitations to something. It does look as if this fun is tied to the six of swords. So you could likely be traveling for your birthday. Um, you're going to experience some distance from home um, temporarily for your birthday for some of you. I also feel with the page of cups, you're in an overall good mood. I feel like you are um, feeling very generous. I, I pick up some Scorpios, uh, picking up the tab, you know, you may be like, that's not me. Somebody's going to have to pay for me, but there is a generous energy coming through. I also, I can't help but feel like you guys are trying to get over something. And so you're celebrating this month, but it's a bittersweet celebration. Um, you may have somebody trying to come back into your life for a do over. And I do not see you giving that person another chance. Um, this could be an, a former lover here. I am going to clarify these and see what's going on. Um, but it does look as if you guys will be on the move, Scorpios. In November, there's there's traveling for um, a lot of you here. Judgment in the reverse with the Nine of Swords. So there will be some Scorpios who are afraid of change. Okay, and so this can keep you not learning lessons and having to repeat a lesson. Um, again, I saw you being very generous in November, very giving with your time. 
Um, and so just be mindful of that. Why is the Six of Swords here for Scorpios? Thank you so much for November. Six of Wands. Yeah, this is a celebration. Um, the spotlight is on you. You're celebrating. I feel like you are having a good time. I feel as if you guys are getting gifts. Some of you are buying yourself something you've always wanted with the Queen of Pentacles, something for your home, um, something for, I'm getting something for your home or, or something for your car. Okay. Um, with the queen of pentacles energy you want to be comfortable you don't want to just spend money to spend money in november so i'm getting that you're practicing um financial responsibility i'm also getting that you guys are getting time off so this could be work um but you're also getting time off from something you could have family that's stepping in to help with the kids while you do your thing for your birthday season um some of you will be celebrating a move okay that also is coming through yes this you're going to be celebrating a lot of things seven of cups here so yeah you're celebrating a move for some of you you're celebrating your birthday some of you share a birthday with somebody in your family like your immediate family so you and your kid could be a scorpio you you have a twin you and a parent so you have multiple like parties and options to go to this is also where i pick up being very careful of excessive um drinking or ex like overdoing it in some way because you're just going to have so many invitations, so many options. Remember I said, be careful of people watching you, taking out their cameras, um, you know, maybe not having ill intent, but this can be used as proof later on for something, just a little clue, a little hint that somebody may not be who, who you think they are. All right, let's check out the hanged man. Okay. Um, I think there's someone upset that you will not let them back in your life in November. This person is trying to, to prove to you or show you that they've made some changes. I, I feel like you don't believe that because you moved on or you're moving on. Yep. Eight of cups. This is somebody who you definitely gave chances to. And, you know, I just feel like you've all, you're all out of chances to give. And so they, they desperately want you to see yourself still with them or see yourself in a situation, um, going back to them, but you just feel like you're too moved on in November. Um, this person doesn't bring you peace. Okay. And yeah, this is the King of Cups energy, which can represent you. This is somebody who doesn't bring you peace. You've moved away for peace. Eight of Cups here um, is, is coming through again, saying that you guys are really seeing that it's better for you to move on to something new. Some of you may connect to another Scorpio, but this strongly feels like you finding yourself. This strongly feels like you realizing some things about yourself, how you love, um, what you uh, want out of relationships. And there's just a person here who's not able to give that. This could be a Libra, a Gemini, also Aquarius energy. Um, what is this Knight of Swords? What's going on with this Knight of Swords for you guys? The Three of Swords, right? So this is somebody that you're leaving alone and they can't handle it. So in November, they're going to be shaking things up and causing a little bit of trouble um, just because you're moving on. They're actually trying to stop you from moving on. They're actually trying to stop you from... Um, so you're, you're, you're seeing things differently. Okay, that's a strong message. You're seeing things from the perspective of, is it fair to you? As opposed to, well, don't they deserve another chance or shouldn't I trust them again? Don't, doesn't everybody deserve another chance? This person is seeing you change. Actually, this person is witnessing you not feeling the same way about them. And it's, it's breaking their heart. Um, you moving on is breaking this person's heart. What's the three of swords? Cause you're definitely moving on in November. Yep. Death. I feel like you finalize a breakup or moving on in November. Um, I actually feel like you cut this person off clean. You don't talk to them. You don't respond to messages. You heal from this in silence. Um, I feel like uh, this is somebody I'm, I'm even getting like a sibling energy. Uh, it doesn't have to be an ex lover, but that three of swords can indicate that this is somebody that you had a relationship with and it was just too much. All right. This person is somebody um, it shows up right underneath caution. This is somebody that has a hard time controlling their emotions. This is somebody these messages together actually look pretty like 
you know, just be very careful with this type of person. A knight of swords being clarified by the three of swords in death is somebody who is willing to do anything to get your attention, right? They're willing to say anything to get your attention in this energy. Um, this is somebody who wants to have pity. Who wants, who wants you to pity them. Um, this is not somebody who has learned a lesson. This is somebody who I feel you are not re returning to. Judgment in the reverse. They don't feel like they've learned any lessons. The only thing about this Knight of Swords is that... Uh, what's the death here before I move on to that judgment? It's the strength. Yeah, they're, they're holding on so tight to you. Some of you may have to get like a protective order or something against this person if they keep coming back and not taking no for an answer. What's this judgment in the reverse? Some of you, three of pentacles. For some of you, this will be the, the other parent of a child. This is somebody who will say things like, I still love you. I still want us to work together. Um... Going back to this person would put you in another cycle. I'm not getting that you guys do that, but that's what this person is wanting. They're wanting you to go back into another toxic cycle with them. What do we have for Scorpios? The lovers. Yep. They're wanting you to be, this is a, a toxic lover. A to this was probably a toxic romantic situation, Scorpios. Um, this person is upset that you're moving on from them or that you're going to be breaking up with them officially. You're done dealing with them. This is also someone who comes through as not faithful. Also non-committal while wanting your undivided attention, loyalty, and commitment. Could be a Gemini or a Leo here. Again, an air sign, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, another Scorpio is showing up. Why is the Nine of Swords here? You guys are, are facing your fears about something or you're going to have to face your fears about something. The Fool. Yeah, taking a chance. This is about moving to a new place. This is about taking a new direction in your life. This is about leaving your comfort zone, Scorpios. I'm getting the message that you guys are spent are dreaming a lot about what you want um, in November and how you can make that happen. I feel the energy of you being afraid to take leaps of faith because you don't want to end up in situations that um, there's no like support, there's no um, there's there's no guarantee of success. And so what I get from this is that you are afraid of moving, you are afraid of of leaving a comfort zone here. What is the two of wands? But you will be traveling. Um, I do pick up. You will be having fun. Page of wands. A lot of you have a child or children, and you're going to be moving with your child or children. Okay. There's a lot here about protecting yourself in November, the seven of wands. Um, it didn't come through that someone is overly obsessive, but they're, they're, they're risky. Their behavior is dangerous and caution is showing up as needing to be very careful who you trust. Let's take a look at these. Let me clarify fun for you. Uh, why do we have fun for Scorpios? The nine of wands. Yeah, it's just a real protective energy. Be careful of your surroundings. Um, you know, just, just watch where, you, who you're giving information to. Um, I feel like somebody is hoping to catch you off guard. What's this nine of wands for Scorpios? The sun. Right. Someone is hoping to catch you while you're enjoying yourself, while you're having fun. Um, a lot of you are tired of like having to keep your eyes open, but throughout November, you are going to have to do that. Let's see what caution is for you. Thank you. It's the hermit. Yep. Somebody's like who you haven't heard from or seen in a while. They're lurking. This this is a person who is lurking. Um, they may not have much materially. They could be a Virgo. Somebody you... um. Yeah, three of cups, like they're watching you celebrate your birthday. You may want to make your page or your stories private. What's this hermit? This is somebody you know needs to be working on themselves, but instead they're focused on you. Yeah, be careful of somebody like saying they changed 
or they want a relationship with you when in reality, they just want things to stay the same. They just want you to conform to their idea of a relationship. Daydream here. I do feel like that Knight of Swords is going to try to explain themselves, but they don't come through as believable. I feel like you guys already know that. Um, you guys are really wanting a happy family situation. There's something going on in your family life, too, that you're hoping mends. I feel like you had a falling out with like a sibling or something. Somebody needs to apologize um, it, it, I'm not picking up that it's you. Yeah, somebody needs to apologize for ruining a family dynamic for sure. It could be a Capricorn. It could be an Earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces. I feel like you're dreaming of a time when the relationships in your life hadn't got so bad. A lot of you are praying and manifesting healing in November. Um... Overall, I get that most likely you're probably the the mature one, the only one who is really wanting this and willing to work for this. And so you are going to have to stop seeing people with rose colored glasses. There are some people who are just like, you can't change them or there's energies that they cannot be healed or fixed. And so it's best for you to just work on yourself, Scorpios in um, November with um, the star here. Celebrate your birthday. Enjoy yourself. There is a wish that is coming true for you guys. I think that's the move or some travel, some fun you're having. But I do pick up a little bit of like family drama, a rom an ex-romantic partner lurking, um, somebody trying to, you know, keep pictures and videos for evidence or to show off and you know just in case like trying to keep receipts just in case you guys get into it or get into it again um so i just feel like there's there's energies you're in i'm sorry in november you really want to find the silver lining and heal yourself you're going to get a message in november that you can't save everybody Okay, Scorpios, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, guys. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out those details in the description box and I will talk to you soon.